the Global Action Classroom is a, like a project that brings together children from different countries and puts them in contact with each other and the projects that they're doing to help the environment, involving them in saving the environment as they are the key points that we're reaching in the environment. And you're from Nigeria. Yes, I am. How, how does that project work? How are you involved in Nigeria? Okay, I work with an organization called Hayes Health Initiative, and we're partnering with a child institute on this project. And what we do is we, some of our uh, students that we have in our student environmental protection program, um, they're in this global action um, classroom project, and we discuss, we teach them about, about environment and help them undertake projects in the environment as well. Um, they plant trees, um, they do cleanup, sanitation as well, and they get to talk with um, children from other countries as well. Um, last year they spoke with children from Brazil, exchange experiences and challenges as well, and this year they spoke with children from Ghana as well, a neighboring country of Nigeria, where they were able to compare um, the challenges that they're having, including uh, concerning climate change. Sorry. So because we have them similar climates, so they were able to compare okay, what they were doing and what they were doing in Ghana as well, and what was working and what wasn't, and they were able to exchange ideas and get a real feel about the project. I mean, that must have been fantastic. I mean, talking to kids from Brazil. I bet they spoke about football first, didn't they? And then <laughs> yeah. talked about climate afterwards. <laughs> yes, they did. Um, yeah. I mean, what was that like? That I mean, how, first of all, te technically, how did you connect? Was it Facebook, or how, how did that work? Um, we used Skype. Great. Yeah. yeah. Um, like the, most of the children, uh, they, they, especially in our country, they are not really that into internet technology. But through this, they were able to experience that that first experience of having a Skype video call with someone that was not in the vicinity. So they were very excited and hyped about their projects and talking about the different kind of trees that they had planted as well. Especially some of the children in Brazil actually said they'd never seen a mango tree before. So this was actually very funny to the children in Nigeria because it's actually everywhere. So this was one of, the, exchanging that experience was actually a very, very good thing for them. And it actually inspired them to do more. Like um, next month, the children will be coming together and writing a letter to the local councilman on helping them take care of their environment. And this is something they're doing by themselves. They're, they're moving on together as one. So not, the big old people, of the, no, no adults involved, just them moving forward and they're very excited. No, I mean, it sounds, it sounds a tremendous, and I just I love the thought of being there when these kids from Nigeria are talking to the kids from, from Brazil. Oh, it's I mean, wonderful. It must have been wonderful. Yes, so, it is. Will that link, will you ca carry on with that link, or will they talk to kids from other, other countries? Or, uh, what, what happens next? Um, each country that I speak with, after a while, they keep on, they keep that connection. So as the project goes on, they keep talking about, okay, what they're doing, and how it's affecting the lives and the lives of people around them as well. So with more people that they connect with, they get a global uh, exposure to what's happening in the society, what's happening in the world regarding the environment, regarding climate, not just in Nigeria, not just in Africa, but globally as well.